The next item is this bear. It's a ride-on bear, rideable pool float. If you guys don't know, these vintage pool floats, they are a big money bolo. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about big money bolos or unexpected bolos. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, these are items that you should be on the lookout for if you're a reseller, items that you can maybe find at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales. I'm gonna tell you all of the goods. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so the first item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm, and she has a nonprofit. I think she said they have over 500 animals that they are taking care of, so definitely check out her eBay store down below. It is, again, a nonprofit where all of the proceeds go to the farm So and helping the farm, so definitely check it out. Lots of great items. Um, I'm just going to show you some of them here. And again, she's linked down below and they're building up their YouTube channel too. She hasn't put any new content out for a while, except for the Ben's bingo video that she just put out. So go check that out if you haven't already. And we're going to see what she sold. She sold this vintage Bucilla advent calendar elf on the shelf. Um, it's finished. It's from 2014. Bucilla can be a big money bolo. Advent calendars can be a big money bolo. If you put the two together, you're going to make some money. So if you see this, definitely pick it up. One dollar was in a box lot at an auction, and she took a best offer of $80 for this. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these ASIC split second wrestling shoes. And I guess they are rare and hard to find. And she got these at a yard sale for $10, took a best offer of $110 for these. And you can see right here, it's got the little um, symbol. That means it's for charity. The next item is this 45-inch full-size leg lamp from A Christmas Story. Oh, my goodness. It does have some flaws. Uh, it says, see photo for flaws. wonder if there's some flaws in the pantyhose. Oh my goodness. Do you guys, do you guys love this show? Number one. Do you remember it? I remember watching it as a kid. Um, let's see. She got it free and took a best offer of $125 on that. So tell me who has a leg lamp in their house. Let me know in the comments if you own one of these, because I'm sure there's got to be somebody watching this video that owns a leg lamp. Just a girl making a living thrifting. This is Double T Treasures. And she also is really a happy gal with great YouTube content. And I have not seen this video yet, but I am definitely going to check out what's going on with this Rolex watch. Okay, um, let's see what she sold here. She's got six signed Culver 22 karat gold green Valicia. Oh, Valicia, Valicia, Valicia. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. So anyway, I talked about this in another video. When you put the white paper inside, it shows the beauty of the cup because you're not getting distracted by the other side. Uh, somebody did that with some Care Bear cups, and it's a great tip um, for showing just how good the quality is and that there's no scuffs and marks and stuff like that. Okay, so these are beautiful. She got these at a thrift store for $5.99 and sold them for $100 on Poshmark. If you guys don't know, Poshmark is just not clothing. You can sell hard goods over there. You can sell pretty much anything over there. They've got electronics over there now, plush, you name it. This is an Andrew Mark luxury leather bomber jacket with gloves and scarf. She got this at an estate sale. She did pay $80 for it, but she knew that she could flip it for good money. And she sold this for $208 on Poshmark. Um, and it took two months to sell. The next item is this vintage Toastmaster under cabinet can opener. So any of these under the cabinet things are a big money bolo. Definitely pick them up. They make different things. I'm trying to think of 
some of the other things. There's can openers. What's the other things? Under the counter. You guys let me know. I can't think of them right now, but a can opener is a really popular one. She got this at a garage sale for $2 and sold it for $90 plus shipping. The next item comes from Butterfly Hustles, also an awesome YouTube channel where she takes you thrifting with her and she tells you about her bolo finds. So check her out. And she sold this Bones Coffee Limited Edition Shark Bite Mug. She got this at the Goodwill for $3.49 and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. These are vintage Johnston and Murphy. They're genuine alligator ankle shoes. Check them out. Uh, these came from Value Village, which is a thrift store. And that's one of her thrift stores where she gets a lot of stuff. She sold these for a best offer of $120 plus shipping. This is a mid-century modern um, Bon Gusto. I don't know if I said that right or not. Italian Italy wood and copper saucepan with lid. Check it out. That is, that's some fancy work right there. I don't know if I'd want to cook with that. I kind of like it with the teal background. What do you guys think? All right. She got this at the Goodwill for $5. Sold it for $96.38 plus shipping. I probably would have walked past it. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? Let me know in the comments. The Quiet Thrifter. Also an incredible um, eBay store. She is definitely a bolo finder. Lots of goodies here. And she picks up a lot of vintage and antique and harder to find unique items. So you will be very intrigued by her store. Let's see what she sold here. She sold this A-K-C-A-M. It's a handmade bowl made in Turkey. How pretty is that? Christmas poinsettia. And right here, you got the little sticker. She got this at the garage sale for $10 and sold it for a best offer of 80 plus shipping. This is a um, vintage 1965 Terra Sankata Creations Brass Israel Tree Menorah Hanukkah Holiday. And how pretty is that? Is it stained glass? It's hard to say. Not really sure. Huh. That's really, really a cool piece. Look at the bottom there. It's got all the information. Definitely look it up with that. And she got this at, a, at the Goodwill for $7.99 and sold it for a best offer of $79 plus shipping. The next item is this new in the package American Living Hunter Hill printed velvet 40 by 84 curtain panel brick color. And she got these for $5 each at a garage sale and sold them to the same person for $49 each plus shipping. So definitely these um, retired vintage, I don't know if this one's vintage, but retired harder to find items, they will definitely sell. So be on the lookout. They may be a little bit more long tail because you might have to wait on the person who like already has that set and is looking to match it up. Or it could sell right away because somebody has it in their keyword search and they bought it as soon as they saw it. Terry Mindful Recycle, major bolo finder. Oh my goodness. Uh, love her channel. Uh, sub her up. She is linked down below. But when I tell you she is a bolo finder, like I am just not even kidding. All right. She sold this Mr. Christmas Gold Label World's Fair Swing Carousel Carnival Fair Music Ride or Ride Music. She got this at a garage sale for $5 and she sold it for $298.97. And wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, Mr. Chris Christmas is definitely a bolo. This one is really cool. I, I would be tempted to like maybe keep this for a while. It's really cool. Empire State Building Department 56 Historical Landmark Series. You guys, she went to an estate sale and she got this for $50 and she sold it for $1,100. Is it color changing? Oh my goodness, it's incredible. Not $1,100 incredible, but incredible. <laughs> Maybe to someone, but not me. That is a lot of money. Wow. This one, I just love this because it is something that I don't know about. It's a Sportswear of Sweden SOS sweater. It's got the logo pattern. It says windproof and lined. And she got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $125 plus shipping. 
The next item is this bear. It's a ride-on bear, rideable pool float. If you guys don't know, these vintage pool floats, they are a big money bolo. And this one's from 1988. She got this at a... I think a garage sale i don't know but she paid five dollars for it and it sold for 199.97 plus shipping i mean that one's pretty cool i've never seen a bear like that so originally at target and i can't see the price but wonder what it retailed for pretty fun right donatella Bottolino. um she is not doing much on ebay right now not much at all she's not giving me much to work with but um I wanted to feature her because I want you guys to know about her because she has pretty much taken her business full time to YouTube where she buys in bulk from like storage units, estate sales, like she buys out things and then she wholesales it out to resellers. And you guys, I'm telling you, you can make some money from her auctions, her and auctions for you. They do this together. They go back and forth on each other's channels and they sold on eBay and they both still kind of dabble in eBay, but not like they used to. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of Donna's sales, but they're really bad. So, um, but they're bread and butter. I mean, hey, right. But she puts free shipping. She's just trying to keep her store like alive. We'll say that, right? Because, you know, this is a Jubilee hand towel and towel Southwest. I, I don't know. It's, it's just a towel set. And you guys, I recently did a video on vintage towels they go for big money and some of them go for big bucks. This is just a bread and butter. And I was like 20 bucks and 11 cents. That's not bad. But then I was like free shipping. I'm like, she didn't make very much on that. But you know what? She's keeping her store active and she's getting some feedback. And she's just got back from a big trip where she went, um, her and auctions for you went sourcing together. They live in two different states. It was a fantastic series on their channels. You should definitely check out some of those videos. And she sold this mug. It is, um, is that Jaeger tea? Sprit or Spitz? Original German coffee tea mug. Two-sided, pre-owned. She sold this for $20.11. Made in Germany. But she did free shipping. So again, not making a ton of money. But these are great bread and butter items. Items that you can pick up. Probably, you know, at any thrift store or garage sale. So definitely be on the lookout. But I really just wanted to feature her to let you know about her YouTube channel and that you should definitely check it out if you are looking for inventory. Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. She has an incredible eBay store. Lots of unique, hard to find items. Like, I don't know where she finds this stuff. I mean, she's just got such cool stuff. I say that every time. But every time I look, I am just fascinated by the items in her store. This is a David Brown Halloween candy corn pail, limited edition paper mache. She got this at an estate sale. She paid $20 for it and took a best offer of 80 on that. Pretty cool, right? Anything paper mache um, can do really, really well. And this one here actually has the marking on it. So easy to look up. Large build Puffin Ed Murdoch, the courtship framed and matted. So it is a framed art print. And she got this at an estate sale for $7.50 and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping on that. This one right here, I just love this. It's We Forest Folk Mom and Son Squeaky Clean 1981 William Peterson. It's a little mouse cleaning a baby. Kind of reminds you of those house mouse stamps that go for crazy money. If you don't know about house mouse stamps, Oh my goodness, go to eBay and search sold's house mouse high to low. They're like the wood mounted rubber stamps. And that's another thing that Donatella Bottolino has sold a ton of in big lots to resellers on her YouTube channel. I don't know if she has any left, but I saw some the other day that she was selling. But anyway, she got this at a garage sale for 15 and sold it for $74 plus shipping. So that's kind of like an unexpected one that probably most of us would walk right past. I don't know if it's like resin or what it is. Crafton Maniac Treasure Treasure Connect. That is a mouthful right there. Look at these cute dogs, these little figurines. People love things that look like they're animals. Oh my goodness. Great store here. Definitely check it out. It will be linked down below. All of the eBay stores, all of the YouTube channels are linked in the description. You guys should definitely hit the save seller 
and um, follow these stores. They are Bolo Finders for sure. Look at this cool nativity. It's uh, brass and copper. Have you ever seen anything that cool? It's only $24.95. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. All right. She sold this uh, frosted glass vanity powder jar with puff trinket dish ornate over on Mercari. And she sold it for $31. Let's get to the puff. There's the puff. And it's Laura P. Laura underscore P on Mercari if you want to check out what else she has. She also sold this. It's, uh, oh, she told me how to say it and I forget. Is it Medina? Medina? Something like that. It's a blown glass, six inch tall, large perfume bottle with stopper, signed blue and green. So it's an empty bottle. She got this at a flea market for $4 and sold it for $42 plus shipping. This is a Rush Limbaugh tie. And she got this at a thrift store. She paid two to four dollars for it. She couldn't remember and flipped it for $24.95. So some ties do sell for a decent amount of money. This is from 1996. So it is vintage retired. Mom knows treasures. You guys got to go over and see what she was crying about. A buyer made me cry. Let's go see. All right, you guys definitely check her out. She's got um, lots of really good content. She is newer to YouTube, but I'm telling you, you wouldn't know it if you watched her videos. She does a great job. So um, sub her up down below. She's at 583 subscribers. All right. She sold these Salvatore, Salvatore Ferragamo leather heel shoes. They're a one inch heel. They're size 11B. And she likes to do little things in her pictures. Um but definitely uh, check her out. She bought these from Donatella Bottolino, who I was talking to you guys about earlier. She bought it from her YouTube auction. And let's see what she paid for it. She paid $10 and took a best offer of $88.68. So can you source from YouTube auctions and find big money bolos? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, I have done it. <laughs> Original signed Elcon pen and ink, black and white art, 1975, good and evil. Woza. Woza, whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to have to blurt that out. Eek. Didn't see that. Sorry, guys. All right. Cover your eyes. Uh, yard sale, $1, $52.53, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these 27, a lot of 27 Littlest Pet Shop LPS, plus other toys and accessories, some rares. She put this up for auction at 40, and then in two days, somebody offered her a best offer of 55, and she went ahead and took it. Now tell me, is there a rare in there? Should she have let the auction ride? I know some of these um, cats can do well, but I also know that... Um, these can also be faked. So you got to be really careful. There's a lot of knockoffs out there. But anyhow, she got this from Random Chick Picker on YouTube. She paid $10 and sold them for $55 plus shipping. All right, this one. Okay, I, it's story time, all right? This is awesome. Two vintage Japan made ceramic Snoopy ornaments, train and articulated Santa. You guys, she said that this is one of the fastest sales she's ever had. It sold in 20 minutes, but she got it at a thrift store in a goodie bag for 50 cents and she sold it for 35. And when she sold me, told me it was her fastest sale, you know what I did, right? I went digging because I wanted to know. Here are the sold comps on just the articulated Snoopy. 115 95, 95, 84, 99. Here's some other big money ones, you guys. If you can find the ceramic Snoopies that are from the 60s, a lot of them are big money. I didn't see the train, but I didn't specifically search the train. So that's why it sold for $35. Somebody is just probably either going to resell it or they're just so happy that they got something they've been searching for. Um for such a good price. And, you know, she said, I think I undersold it, but you know, I made a really good profit and she was happy. So, um, she had a really great attitude about it, but you know, it happens. It happens to all of us. Let me know down in the comments of something that you undersold. 
Gail's New and Vintage. This is her eBay store. And Mom Knows Treasures has a sale running right now. So you can check out her eBay store for that. Again, a lot of the sellers right now are running coupons. So check out their stores down below, okay? Gail's New and Vintage. She sold this Ken Tex Pink Pillow Bunny Rabbit Stuffed Animal Plush. And she sold it on Etsy. It is a plush bunny that she got at a private sale for $2 and sold it for $49.99 plus shipping. This one here, oh my goodness, it's a vintage Chosum AMC bear from 1984, Best Friends Brown Blow Tie. This makes me want to put my plush on Etsy. Ugh. I'm trying to get you guys a tag. There we go. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see, a bulk toy buy, paid about $2 for that and sold it for $79.99. And she's Gail's new and vintage over on Etsy. Look at this vintage denim coat. Wow. It's got the corduroy on the, the accents on the neckline or the collar and then on the pockets. She got this free in an estate sale and sold it for $48 plus shipping on Mercari. And she's also Gail's new and vintage on Mercari. This little guy is a vintage cookie monk cookie jar and shall not get fat. It says thou shall not get fat. <laughs> Where does it say that? Oh, it must say it down here. Wow. That's so funny. Um, uh, free. She got it free and sold it for $79.99 plus shipping. Free from her friend. Her friend's like, I got to get rid of this cookie jar. I'm eating all the cookies. All right. Walnut bottom. Oh, I can never say this word. Is that mercantile? Mercantile? I think it's mercantile. All right. This is her eBay store. Lots of variety. These are great right here. These are the replacement pegs for the ceramic trees. Um, if I find those, I pick them up and I hang on to them for when I get the ceramic trees. So just a little tip. I've actually got some right over there. I was like, should I sell these or should I keep them? She sold this incredible Fenton fairy lamp. It is beautiful. Um, it's pineapple. And she got this at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for $147.94 plus shipping. I want to go back and look at those because I think these are even the harder to find um, the birds. Yeah. Do you guys have a tree? Anybody need um, any replacements? That's a great price. $11.94. $11 That's awesome. Okay, and then we also have the Fire King Jadeite Batter Bowl with Spout Anchor Hawking, and she got this at a church sale for $1 and sold it for $32.94 plus shipping. All right, you guys, talk about some amazing bolos, right? Which one was your favorite? Let me know which bolo was your favorite down in the comments. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some other videos popping up here and here and one down here. And if you'd like to join memberships, there is a join button right here. Level two gets you in this video. Thanks for watching.